guys, my name is Tara, and I'm gonna answer a question we hear a lot. Is there iodine in real salt? The short answer is yes, but just the tiny amount nature gave it. But why is iodine important? I'll explain. Remember the periodic table of elements? Well, iodine is the largest element in the halogen group. It gets its name from the Greek word for violet because it forms a purple cloud in a gaseous state, which is pretty cool. As a solid, iodine is a micronutrient and dietary mineral we need for our brain cells and thyroid to do their jobs. Almost two billion people suffer from conditions like goiter that could be prevented if only we could get our thyroids to absorb enough iodine, which should be easy enough, right? Our thyroid loves halogens like iodine. Problem is, iodine is a lot bigger than other halogens like fluorine and chlorine and bromine. They're all competing for space in your thyroid, like clowns piling into a tiny car little guys always get in first. And once our thyroid fills up with smaller halogens, iodine can't get in to do its job. If you want more iodine in your thyroid, and trust me, you do, you have to avoid smaller halogens and get more iodine in. So now I think we all get it, right? We need iodine, the big purple clown, and getting enough can be a battle. But why do we expect it to be added to our salt? Well, history nerds, strap in, because back in World War I, the military noticed a lot of cases of goiter in their draft recruits, especially from areas of the country with iodine-deficient soil. In 1924, the U.S. government asked salt companies to add iodine, because hey, we all need iodine and we all use salt. Case closed, right? Not so fast. 1924 was a long time ago, and science has since discovered that our bodies can only absorb about 10% of the iodine they add to salt only 10%. Looking at the numbers, you might expect to get all the iodine you need with this much salt. The iodine's there, but it isn't bioavailable. You'd actually have to eat this much to get what you need. That's a lot of salt. And iodized salt isn't exactly health food store quality salt. But there's a better way, folks. If you avoid smaller halogens, no more enriched white flour or treated water, your thyroid can absorb almost all the iodine you'll find in a healthy diet. In foods like cheese, milk, eggs, yogurt, seaweed, soy milk, or even soy sauce, what you eat is what you get. So to re-answer the original question, you're not gonna get your iodine fix from real salt, but it's easily the tastiest salt to use on food naturally rich in iodine. And if you just can't get enough iodine from your food, there are some really great iodine supplements out there but salt just isn't one of them. So dig in folks and watch your iodine fears disappear. Whew.